Hi, this is Ben Ames with DC Velocity Magazine. We're here in Chicago this week at ProMat 2025. This afternoon, we're in the Interroll booth, and I'm here with Thorsten. Thank you for having us. Thank you. It's great you're here. Uh, Thorsten, maybe you could start off by introducing yourself and tell me a little bit about Interroll and, and what sort of products and services you guys provide, please. Yes. Uh, my name is uh, Thorsten. I'm project manager for um, MCP Play. That's what we're showcasing today. Um, basically, Interroll is a very global company, and we are uh, showcasing this not only here at Promat, but um, all over the globe uh, at the moment. Um, we're obviously into intro logistics and moving um, any sort of material from A to B. Um, we are having different platforms. Um, this year we're focusing on our MCP uh, with a new upgrade MCP Play, and which we are going to look at. You know. That's great. Uh, so uh, to bring me up to speed and tell me first what, what is MCP, those letters? It's Modular Conveying Platform. Okay. Um, it's a mid-sized platform we have. Um, we have smaller ones, we have obviously this size, we have uh, larger sizes up to pallet flows and pallet moving um, and everything in between. We do sorters, um, that's the things we do. <laughs> great, great. Um, so th th this would be a mid-sized uh, capability then, I guess, and, and uh, what are some of the features we see? I, I see there's sort of a, a, a merger like you might see on the streets here. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're showcasing right now. Um, the most important thing of this, it's all PLC free. It's decentralized control, it's automated control, it's self-optimizing, um, um, and we are comparing this to um, the out-of-the-box solutions we have. It's called ZPA, Zero Pressure Accumulation functionalities we have, and something like the flowing merge we're seeing behind us is, from, from a material perspective, uh, it's nothing new, but it's uh, completely new having this without the need of programming, without the need of additional PLC, and it comes out of the box and just needs to be configured. Great. So uh, for people who might want to pull this into their workflow then in a distribution center or I guess in, in a warehouse, um, is it sort of optimized for a certain type of inventory or is it sort of general that it can handle almost anything or what, what is the best fit? It's, um, it's general. It's everything you uh, would uh, convey with MCP as before you can still use um, and it's even more flexible because it doesn't depend on the size anymore. It adjusts to um, the different box sizes or types of material you're conveying. Um, it, it's especially excels if you have different sizes that you want to convey at the same time um, because one of the main features is the adjust to gap functionality so we only um, adjust the gaps in between of the box sizes uh, boxes and it doesn't matter how big the boxes are overall yeah? so because you don't lose any space um, and this is why the throughput for example and the energy uh, efficiency of this whole way of controlling um, the material flow uh, increases uh, dramatically because more or less it all comes down to the point uh, how good do you use the space uh, you have available for conveying for really conveying things and so this is um, yeah, a, a great step forward um, and opening doors for us. Huh? Uh, and that's a great point because really the space inside a DC is very valuable and you want to make sure that you use it all as best you can. And, and so can this fit into an existing uh, distribution center? Does it have to be like a, a new build? Or, you know, uh, how does it integrate with the other parts? Yeah, it's, it's integrated as, uh, as always. Um, it's same application. We're, we're not um, retrofitting right now, but we do not have any hardware change. That's a major topic. It's just in software change. A lot of additional functionalities and benefits come with this, but it's a mere software change. So you can use it with existing layouts. Uh, you would need to change from the AI versions we have to the BI versions because some of the functionalities, or mostly all of them, depend on the bus interface uh, to really function or really functional. Um, Great. Uh, well, terrific. It sounds very impressive. And uh, if people are here at ProMat in the coming days, they can come visit your booth and see it themselves? We welcome everyone to come here, take a look at it, touch it, play with it, try to break it. Uh, maybe some people can, but mostly it doesn't. It recovers very well. That's um, one of the main focuses because everyone is always talking about throughput and energy efficiency. But the main th thing we see is stability of the system. So reduce unwanted downtimes um, and just put the system in a, um, in a situation where it can recover by itself um, and just does its job again after some incident. So that's a really cool feature we have too. So. Uh, well, Thurston, we really appreciate your taking some time out of your day to talk with us today. Uh, appreciate it.
Uh, we are in the South Hall in the Interroll booth here, and this has been Ben Ames with DC Velocity at Promat 2025.